All right, we're going to do an Unreal Engine stress test. Now, the engine that we're working on is 4.19, and we're going to um, see how many basketballs that we can put in here. Now, taking consideration these basketballs um, are physical objects, and what we're going to do is hold down the left button and just let them rain down. And you can see on the left there, it's counting them down. And on the right, you can see the frames per minute. So we're over 200 frames per uh, second. And on the left, you can see how many basketballs are going into the scene. Now, take into consideration, if you look at the basketballs carefully, um, you'll see shadows that are being calculated for each one. Those are dynamic shadows. Um, each one of them have texturing with bump mapping. Um, and also, the balls have uh, simulated physics. So <clears throat> each ball... Uh, the computer hardware has to simulate where it's at, where it's going, did it hit something. Um, so phenomenal amount of processing power is taking place. So we're up to 400 basketballs and our uh, frames per second are at 1, looks like 120, 130, which is pretty amazing. I thought with this many basketballs on the scene, I really thought uh, it would be a lot lower. I thought we'd be in the 20s. Um, so pretty phenomenal. Let's uh, while we're at it, let's take a look. And also, uh, one of the things that are set up on each of these individual basketballs is something called LOD, um, and that's an Unreal Engine. Uh, it's a level of detail, and so the further back the balls are, uh, it uh, kind of calls down the detail of it. Um, so it it calls out some of the tri triangles. So let's take a look at some more stats here with the 403 basketballs so far. Let's look at the uh, stat RIH. This is going to show the triangle draw. So on average, which is not bad, we have 154,000 uh, triangles for the basketballs being processed. So that's not bad. 154,000, that's nothing for a GPU, a uh, modern day GPU, either on a, even a PS3. Um, so let's get back here and see how many more we can pump in here of simulated objects. Let's turn off the... All right, and let's get back to work. Let it rain. Make it rain. So we're 470 CPU bumping up a little bit. And GPU, GPU handling it pretty nicely. I'm really amazed. We're still at just under 100 frames and we almost got a thousand separate physical objects all of them being calculated in real time like I said with shadows also so we're at 700 we'll stop at a thousand and then do another see how many triangles we're processing here eight we're at still at 60 frames I'm really amazed go on real engine and Nvidia phys physics Okay, let's stop at a thou. We're almost there. 1,002, and we're still at 50. Really amazing. Let's check out our triangles. Not bad. We got uh, for a thousand basketballs. We got about half a million triangles being processed, which is pretty incredible. All right, let's walk through here and take a look at all these. Wow thousand we're gonna keep going though we're not gonna stop wow amazing all right let's make it rain we're gonna go to this thing shuts down well plus we also got uh, screen capture software going so that's taking up some CPU and GPU times Keep them coming. I'm going for a record. <laughs> so they're all moving around, but they will go asleep. The physics will kind of turn off to say some CPU processing. But what's happening is the balls that are coming in are hitting the other balls, and then they're hitting the balls. And yeah, so they're all waking up. Well. Down to 30. I guess we'll stop once it locks up. That'll be the end of the video. <laughs> right, let's check our tries. 642,000. Not, that's not very many. I mean, 
I've had scenes uh, with 157 million triangles, uh, but it did lock up after that. But still, it's not very many triangles. So it's doing really good. All right, so we got 15, 1,571, 1,571 basketballs so far, and we're still hitting almost 30 frames per second. I'm really impressed. All right, well, let's keep it going. We got to be able to at least make it to 2,000. Yeah, the engine's calculating all the forces, all the shadows. Absolutely phenomenal how much a chip can calculate per second or process. All right, coming up on 2,000 simulated objects just past it we're just going to keep going we'll go till it gets down to uh, 10 because you know about then it's not even playable I mean really under 30 frames you really want 60 frames per second but this is just to get an idea of how much can be processed and that's, this is in a smaller window too so if we had full screen probably be even slower all right we're gonna let's see if we can make it to 2500 and then we'll we'll stop the torture of the poor processor okay I remember back in the day, Duke Nukem, man, they might have one little item that could have physics on it. Um, and everything else was just uh, textures. And yeah, So there we go. We still got 16 frames per second with 2,500 basketballs on a mid-range machine. Phenomenal. Excellent work, Unreal and Epic over there. Amazing work. So any questions or comments, leave them below. I'd love to hear them. Take care.